hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to apply pagination in flutter so pagination is the thing where you will have to upload large amount of data from the api into your application in a small chunks of data like this let me reload this it is reloaded and for the first time 20 data will be load and next 20 will be load in second page and this one is third page this one is fourth and once all the data is fetched from the api it will show some message in the bottom like this so without any delay let's get started right after this intro so this is my home screen and inside this stateful widget and uh, I've taken here scroll controller and inside init state controller dot add listener and I'm also checking the condition my list view reaches to the bottom then will load extra data this is the function that uh, I was testing so in this video I'll be talking about how to load data from the API so I will uncomment this method later. Also, there is list of a string by the name list items. I will fetch data from the API into this list. So first of all, let's design the UI for list. So inside scaffold and body, I'm using list view dot builder. Inside this, I'll be providing padding of 10 and item count would be list items dot length controller i am assigning here and also i am providing item count list items dot length plus one because when our list reaches to the bottom then it will show circular indicator that is why i am adding here one if it is not the last one then normal list will be appear and inside item builder context index and inside this I'm checking the condition if list items dot length is greater than the index then will assign list items index into this item and it will return list style and as title I'll be using text this item and if it reaches to the last one it means list item length is greater than index then it will come inside this means normal list will be visible otherwise plus one condition it will come inside this else so in that case we will show circular progress indicator so padding 8 pixels and as child i'm using here center and then circular progress indicator and here when my program loads i'm commenting this and uncommenting this load data from api so when my program will load for the first time it will call this load data from api and it will show data from the api also when my list will reach to the bottom again i want to load the extra remaining data so i will also uncomment this load data from api and i will put the code on github and will share the link with you you can check that so let's move forward and let's come inside this method load data from api so inside this i'm using this url and if you will hit this url this is the response these are the 100 elements if you will check the id 100 and the beginning is one and if you will provide limit and page to the url then it will provide data as pagination so for now i'm using limit is 10 and page equal to 2 so it is providing the data of user id 2 it is starting from id 11 to 20. now if i will change here the value of page 2 to 3 
so it will fetch the data of third user so i will have to provide here page and limit value also so if your api is not supporting the pagination then you will have to ask your backend developer for that now let's move forward so final response await http.get and inside this i'll be using that particular url and also checking the condition if response status code is 200 then list from api will be initialized from json.decode response.body and here i am taking boolean variable more data for showing that uh, circular indicator if the data is fetching and once the data is fetched from the api then new data will be visible so again i will have to apply the condition here so for this if more data is true then circular progress indicator will be visible otherwise no more data will be visible that there is no more data now so here inside this set state list items dot add all and list from api i'm creating a mapping of all the strings that i will fetch from the api so to list and inside this final number i'm fetching the ids of all the data this id i'm fetching and inside condition i'm checking list from api dot length is less than limit what is limit i will provide the value here then no more data equal to false so limit for now i'm providing 20 value so once our data will be load so 20 data will be visible at one time so this is the condition if the list from api dot length is less than the limit then more data will be false and it is inside this set state then it will update the value of more data and also here it will be visible according to this condition circular progress indicator or no more data and inside this let me provide the limit value which is 20 and let me create an integer value for providing the page dynamically again we'll have to update this url and inside this set state i will update the page by one so here taking one more boolean value is loading so if your response is slow from the api then you can restrict user to hit the api once the data is fetched from the server so that is why i am applying here the condition if is loading is true if it is still loading then it will return from this condition it will not execute this line of code and if it is false then is loading will be true and also inside this set state is loading equal to false till now let me run the code and show you first 20 item is loading and then rest 20 is loading as pagination 80 and total number of data is 100 so when it reaches 200 no more data is visible when we pull down the list i want to load the data from the beginning for that i'm creating here one function and inside this i'm using set state and is loading will be false more data is true and page is zero and also list item dot clear and inside this the same api will be called load data from api i will wrap this list view with refresh indicator and on refresh i will call this function let me run this total list is fetched from the api and some more data is added from the backend side then when we will reach to the top of this list and 
we will refresh this and again on refreshing this refresh function will be called and it will again reload our data it will clear the previous list and page will start from zero and again more data will be true so true means it will show circular progress indicator and is loading will be false after that load data from api will be called so inside this function it will fetch the data from the api and my list items will be updated once again so that's it in the video uh, i hope that uh, you must have learned something from this and if you do then please thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now